the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta came to a close earlier this week. In light of the feedback from players who participated in the preview event, DICE released a blog post that clarified on how some of the game's mechanics, especially its crate system, will work in the official release. In order to get star cards abilities, outfits, or emotes in Star Wars Battlefront 2 you'll need to obtain crates. You can buy these packages with in-game currency, earn them by completing challenges, or, to the frustration of many players, purchase them with real-world money. You can also earn the contents of crates simply by playing online. In addition, the only way to earn new weapons, attachments, and additional credits is by participating in matches. Even if you do get your favorite ability or weapon, I said that you have to earn the right to be able to upgrade star cards and unlock most weapons. You can only upgrade or unlock them if you reached a high enough rank, which is determined by playing the game. This is welcome news to all, as it means that those who cough up a few dollars to get new abilities won't have a major advantage over other players. In addition to the details on the crate system, the studio also acknowledged other concerns. This includes a longer strike mode. In the beta, it was just one round that decided the winner, but DICE is considering changing the format to a best of three rounds. Players also complained about the overpowered state of the specialist's infiltration ability and the lack of power for the First Order Flame Trooper. The developers also announced that they're implementing a feature at launch that rewards all players in a spawn wave, which it hopes will let players stick together and work as a team. If you missed out on the beta, you can watch a replay of our recent livestream of the game. Star Wars Battlefront 2 arrives on November 17th.